Ukiah. His body is broad and straight. Of all men, his body is the broadest and the straightest. 21. Susam Viata Saskanda. His shoulders are completely rounded. He has no peer amongst those who straighten their shoulders. 22. Katvaram Saddanta. He has 40 teeth, neither more nor less. Other men have 32 teeth. Their body consists of more than 300 bones and the bones of their skull are nine in number. The Bodhisattva has 40 teeth and his skull is a single bone. In him, the teeth are numerous but the bones of the skull are few. Among other men, the teeth are few but the skull bones are numerous. This is how the Bodhisattva differs from other men. 23. Avaraladanta. His teeth are closely spaced. No coarse or fine material can get in between his teeth. People who do not know the secret mark of his teeth say that he has but one single tooth. One could not introduce a single hair between them. 24. Sukladanta. His teeth are white. They surpass the brightness of King Himavat. 25. Simahana. He has the jaw of a lion. Like a lion, king of the beasts, his jaw is straight and broad. 26. Rasa Rasa Grap Rapta. He has the best of all tastes. Some say, when the Buddha puts food into his mouth, all foods take on an exquisite flavor. Why? Because in all these foods there is the essence of exquisite flavor. People who do not possess this. Th. Mark cannot give off this essence and as a consequence do not have this exquisite taste. Others say, when the Buddha takes food and puts it in his mouth, the ends of his throat secrete ambrosia which concentrates all flavors. As this food is pure, we say that he possesses the best of all tastes. 27. Prabhutajiva. He has a broad tongue. When the Buddha sticks his great tongue out of his mouth, it covers all the parts of his face up to the top of his hair. But when he puts it back in, his mouth is not filled up. 28. Brahmasvara. He has the voice of Brahma. Five kinds of sounds come from the mouth of Brahma, king of the gods. I. Deep as thunder. E. Pure and clear, able to heard from afar and delighting the listeners. E. Penetrating and inspiring respect. I. V. Truthful and easy to understand. V. Never tiring the listeners. These are also the five intonations from the mouth of the Bodhisattva. Dash opening square bracket. Other marks. He has the voice of a sparrow. His voice is pleasant like the song of the Kalavinka bird. He has the voice of a drum. His voice is deep and powerful like that of a great drum. 29. Abhinalantra. His eyes are deep blue like a beautiful blue lotus. 30. Gopax Manitra. His eyelashes are like those of an ox. Like the king of the oxen, his eyelashes are long, beautiful and well arranged. 31. Use Nissa Sursa. His head is crowned with a protuberance. The Bodhisattva has a bony chignon like a fist on his head. 32. Erna. He has a tuft of white hairs. The tuft of white hair grows between his eyebrows, neither too high nor too low. It is white, whirled to the right, growing easily and at the height of five feet. The experts in marks added. In earth and heaven, the Yu prince possesses the thirty-two marks of the great man which all bodhisattvas possess. Question. The Kakravatan king also possesses these thirty-two marks. In what way are those of the bodhisattva different? Answer. The marks of the Bodhisattva prevail over those of the Kakravatan king in seven ways. They are, I, very pure, E, very distinct, E, ineffaceable, I, V, perfect, V, deeply marked, V, conforming with the practice of wisdom and not conforming to the world. V, I, I, lasting. The marks of a Kakravatan king do not have these qualities. Question. Why are they called marks? 
Answer. Because they are easy to recognize. Thus water, which is different from fire, is recognized by its marks. Why does the Bodhisattva have 32 marks, neither more nor less? Some say, the Buddha whose body is adorned with the 32 marks is beautiful and well arranged. If he had less than 32 marks his body would be ugly. If he had more than 32 marks he would be untidy. Thanks to the 32 marks, he is beautiful and well arranged. Their number cannot be increased or decreased. The bodily marks are like the other attributes of the Buddha which cannot be increased or decreased. Question. Why does the Bodhisattva adorn his body with marks? Answer. Minus one. Some people have attained purity of faith by seeing the bodily marks of the Buddha. This is why he adorns his body with marks. 2. Furthermore, the Buddhas triumph in every way. They triumph by means of their physical beauty, power, clan, family, wisdom, jhana, deliverance, etc. But if the Buddhas did not adorn themselves with marks, these superiorities would not be as numerous. 3. Finally, some say that supreme perfect enlightenment resides in the body of the Buddhas but that if the corporeal marks did not adorn their body Anuttarasamyaksam body would not reside in them. Thus when a man wishes to marry a noble maiden, the latter sends a messenger to him to say, If you wish to marry me, you must first decorate your house, remove the filth and the bad smells. You must place in it beds, covers, linen, curtains, drapes, wall coverings and perfumes so as to decorate it. Only after that will I enter your house. In the same way, Anuttarasamyaksambodhi sends wisdom to the Bodhisattva to say to him, If you want to attain me, first cultivate the marvelous marks and adorn your body with them. Only after that will I reside in you. If they do not adorn your body, I will not reside in you. This is why the Bodhisattva cultivates the 32 marks and adorns his body with them, to attain Anuttarasamyaksambodhi. 7. Enlightenment and Buddhahood. Then the Bodhisattva grew up gradually and, having seen an old man, a sick man, he experienced disgust for worldly things. At midnight, he left his home and practiced asceticism for six years. Then he ate some sweetened milk broth of sixteen restorative qualities offered to him by the Brahmani Nanto, Nanda. And, under the tree of enlightenment, he defied Mara's army of eighteen thousand kotis of warriors and attained supreme perfect enlightenment. Question. What qualities must he have to attain in order to be called Buddha? Answer. Minus one. He is called Buddha when he has acquired the knowledge of cessation and the knowledge of non-arising. Two. According to others, he is called Buddha when he has acquired the ten strengths, the four fearlessnesses, the eighteen special attributes, the three knowledges, the four penetrations.